with nine at the back. Costa in attack, and we're Wolverhampton, we're on our way back. <laughs> Well, what a fantastic, what an unbelievable, surreal, fan oh, unbelievable performance by the boys yesterday. It's one of those games that you sort of dream about or you play on FIFA where you're hanging on, hanging on, and you just don't think it's going to happen. And eventually the final whistle goes and unbelievable scenes. Having not won in Middlesbrough since 1951, to do it like that, maybe that's where we were going wrong. We were playing with too many players up in Middlesbrough in the past. We needed nine, but that showed the character of the team. It showed the character of Nuno and the philosophy that they've all bought into all through the season. And it's paid dividend with the, just everybody throwing their bodies in the line and running their socks off last night. Romain Sace, in particular, just lay in front of the away fans at the end of the game yesterday. Absolutely dead on his feet. He put in every ounce of effort that he could last night. and uh, But not just him, every single player on that pitch was superb defensively. Leo Bonatini put a shift in at right back at times yesterday. Gibbs White came on to just give us a little bit of freshness as well. And he, you could argue he was pushed in the lead up to the goal that we conceded, but that didn't matter. He did a good job. He, and Dai ran his socks off as well when he came on. It was just everything about the game was just that doesn't happen to Wolves. Wolves go down to nine men and they throw away a two goal lead. That's what we're used to. It's a different club that we're looking at now. The game all turned, of course, on the one decision with Costa, Costa being tripped through on goal. I can't see why he would have dived at that point. I haven't had the chance to look at it over and over again, and I think because of the way the sky worked last night and they had the, the Derby Sunderland game straight away. They didn't have the chance to analyse it, but I think there was, from what I've heard, there was a slight clip on Costa, and when you go in that fast, it's going to send him tumbling, and it should have been a free kick, definitely. You would argue then a red card, it was a clear goal scoring opportunity, and Wolves would have been 3-0 up then, or possibly, or certainly against 10 men, you would have backed them to see the result out, no problem at all. But they Wolves lost their discipline for that 10-15 minutes afterwards then. Doherty and Neves going in, and they both seem to get booked for the same tackle from where I was standing. Then Neves showed his inexperience then. You know, he's been a fantastic player all season and showed that he's above this level of football. But he just showed his lack of discipline and his lack of experience in that point. You don't go diving in like that when you're on a yellow card, regardless of whether you deserve the yellow card or not. You can't go and put yourself in that position where you could get sent off rather easily. And that at that point, I wasn't too concerned. I thought with 10, we were still okay and we still held them but it, with nine then Doherty again a questionable decision to send him off for that um, but we just we didn't help ourselves really in that point in the game we were you know going in for tackles that didn't need to be gone in for I don't want to talk about the referee too much because he did spoil the game I thought it was a fantastic entertaining game from both teams Middlesbrough I don't know what it is with them because they've got some fantastic talent Adam Atroyori amazing uh, right winger, caused Barry Douglas a lot of problems in that first half, darting in and out of him, uh, but they just don't seem to be able to create many chances. That, I mean, even down to nine men, of course we had everybody behind the ball, but they didn't fashion any opportunities whatsoever and threaten the Wolves' goal much at all. I think Ruddy made one save, and I don't. you could argue he could have done something about the goal. I think he looked, from the replay that I've seen, that it was quite straight at him and, you know, but didn't really matter in the end. It was a great finish from Bamford. But yeah, the Middlesbrough fans were getting agitated and were getting on the backs of the team or the manager perhaps. And they've certainly underperformed this season. If you remember at the beginning of the season, everybody thought that they would be fighting for promotion. But with the Gary Monk saga and then Pulis coming in, it's not really an inspired change of management there. And as for the scenes at the end of the game, Unbelievable. It reminded me very much of the Bristol City game earlier on in the season. It also reminded me of the Derby County win back in 2009 when Andy Keogh scored that late diving heading goal. You just get the sense, right, it is happening now. We are going to get promoted and it's just a matter of when. And hanging on to those three points yesterday with Cardiff winning and Fulham winning yesterday and Villa to play today. The pressure was on us to get those three points and we played really well the first half and we stuck it out really well the second half. 
amazing and it's very very important now that we back it up on Tuesday night with a win against Hull because if we don't then it's sort of worthless <laughs> this this uh, these three points today we'll be back to where we were before the game today but hopefully we'll push on uh, obviously there'll be changes for that game because Doherty will be out suspended Nevers will be out suspended Sace I don't think will be suspended there was a date that passed l this week where it was sort of an amnesty for cards he did pick up his 10th yellow card, but he won't be suspended. But the way that he left the pitch yesterday, I don't know whether he will be fit to play. Uh, but Andai showed that he's capable of, you know, he's made, he did make a couple of mistakes against Villa and uh, Fulham. But uh, I think he showed in those spell of games that Neves was out that he's capable of coming in. Uh, but Gibbs White as well has got to be given a chance, possibly at right wing back now. We, we'll see. Um, but there'll be a preview for that game on this channel on Monday evening. And I hope that you're all relaxed and calmed down after that. I certainly haven't. It was a very emotional end to the game yesterday. And uh, I'm not, not ashamed to say that a couple of tears were shed in the celebrations. But let me know what you thought of yesterday's game. Did it seal the promotion for you? Or are you still focused? You know, as fans now, focused on the Tuesday game now against Hull. Let me know. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.